our second class for sale management to be talking about all the different tack. This is a kind of behind the scenes shot. When you have tack, you want to make sure you store it correctly. So we have all our saddles labelled and tagged, but you want to make sure it's in a room that's very dry and not too hot, but not too cold where it can develop mold. We have all the bridles in order, and we do have a rule of how we clean the tack and how we oil it to keep it nice and supple. And every week you'd always check your tack to make sure there's no rips in the leather and to make sure the safety of the girth is checked. Today we're going to be focusing on the bridle and the different parts of the bridle. The first part of the bridle, most people know, this is the bit and it goes through the horse's mouth and in the horse's mouth they have a gap in their teeth where the bit can sit. Now the bit is attached to the two reins and the reins is what helps you steer and stop the horse. Then we move on to the crown piece. If you can't remember what the name of this Think of kings and queens who wear it on the head for crying. The brow band goes round our brow, our forehead, and it helps just keep the brow long. Then we move down to the nose band. When you do put the nose band on the horse, you have to make sure it goes underneath the cheekpiece. The next part of the bridle, I'll hold the nose band away, is the cheekpiece. And this runs down both sides of the horse's mouth or the cheek, and you want to keep it nice and close to the cheek. We then move on to the throat lash. The throat lash goes around the horse's throat, and we attach it on. And to check to see if it's too tight or too loose, you put your four fingers flat against the horse's cheek. The other parts of the brown, which not every horse has, this is called the Martin Gale. This goes around their neck and attaches under to the girth and to the reins. And if you have a horse that puts its head up slightly higher than your contact, it helps hold the horse's head down. Okay guys, that's parts of the bridle. And we'll be posting questions after the video so you can name parts of the bridles yourself. When we come back, we'll be doing the physical side of the civil management and learn how to put the bridle on the horse. Good luck with your questions.